Kia ora whanau. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Kaitaki Marakai, Backyard Gardens. Uh, goal to have 600 backyard gardens in Kaikui and Northland uh, over the next five to six years, encouraging people to think about their own security around food security and sustainability and their own hauora, hauora uh, the health and well-being, getting outside and hearing the trees blowing and, well, seeing the trees blow and hear the birds chirp uh, is all good for our health, plus you're getting a bit of vitamin D. Just a quick update, um, doing a bit of a tidying up and I just want to show you what we've been doing thus far. Um, hey, if you if you like this, click the like button, um, put the notification bell, pass it on to someone else and might uh, encourage them in their own well-being and, and how well. Well, I've made me a, um, a bay for um, doing seedlings and so I've just got a little processing pl place here and decided to um, start raising them themselves. Um, last year we did our own kumara which is I'm just doing this again for our marakai out on the papakainga. Uh, just got some tomatoes that have shooted, uh, not tomatoes, um, kumara that have shooted and so I'm just growing tupu inside here and in time this will start little fill up. I should have probably done it a bit earlier um, but uh, we're preparing the land, land on the whenua for, for these and I've also got some more down in here. Uh, I've got some shoots of tukuma that they're just starting to come through so eventually they'll, they'll, they'll um, come up. Um, got some seedlings for bok choy. So all I did is got these from the supermarket. Um, I am using old containers I've kept but you can see here with the, um, the kumara I'm using the old meat trays. Um, and I'll actually use those as little seed seed beds. Um, <clears throat> so I'm now I'm at the front end of um, doing um, my garden in Marakai. Before we we're talking about uh, preparing the soil and, and developing the the mara. Now I'm developing the seeds, lings for planting. And so hopefully as time comes on, and this is cabbage by the way, Got some three there for cabbages. Uh, I'll then plant those out. Um, uh, once they, once I see the green come through, I'll then do another lot. And so hopefully the sequence of timing will, will give me at that back end of the uh, mara an opportunity to have vegetables coming through all the time. Uh, strawberries are over there. It's going well, So, but uh, let's have a look at what we've done at the back here. And um, it's a bit windy here, so excuse me if you... Um, so I'll go over this way. Uh, noticing doing some recycling this time around just thinking about um, upcycling materials so here's some tyres that we had to replace this year I told the guy I want to keep them because I'll use them for our mother and in this case as you can see there um, I have planted piru piru in them started at the bottom and, and I've just basically been adding soil as the, the flower comes through um, and just add more soil in and so now what I'm going to do with this, this next level is I'll wait till they all come up here green and then I'll put another layer on and hopefully that'll then encourage more piru piru to grow inside so effectively they'll grow up. When it comes to harvesting I'll then break that down and then, then I'll, I'll level out that particular soil um, over here on this part of my garden and, um, and do the process again. Uh, here's an old washing machine, the inside of a washing machine. Um, used as a raised bed. I planted both in the mudder and in the raised bed some um, some lettuce. This one's gone off well. We've already eaten one lot of harvest out of that. But where I had my pumpkin um, area here, I had planted some lettuce there, but the snails got in there and ate them up. Yeah, I'm still working out that. I'm trying to follow the um, Hua Parakore Kaupapa, uh, which is uh, organic uh, farm, um, uh, farming, or gardening, I should say, and it looks at how to be sustainable in regards to what we give back into the whenua, so things like um, uh, the whakapapa of the origins of our fruits and veg or our vegetables in this case. Where do we get our seeds from? Are they sustainable organic and so forth 
um, we've been doing the uh, the Modi side of things, putting back in, in uh, good materials, so we're giving life back into it, so um, compost, um, fertiliser, I'm still learning about the fertiliser part, thanks to Lionel and the folk down at Papatunika Kōkiri Marae, um, he was showing us the worm farm, uh, so I'm just growing my mātauranga in that perspective, um, but that's the Modi side of it. Uh, we've got a, a Waipūrāko at the back, it's an open one, uh, Waipuraka I learnt last weekend is the name for compost um, and that pa that's part of the Tao Tūru or Kaupapa about uh, giving things back into the soil uh, which then uh, encouraged the Modi to come back in. Um, mana again about um, uh, looking after the place, paying respects for it uh, enhancing the mana that's in them, so trying to in our vegetables, so then it gives order, her order to our to our farmer. I think that's only that. There might be another one there, but I'm, as I say, it's a new co papa that I'm um, I'm actually wanting us to follow and get into. And so we're just going to try it here in the backyard, doing it in the backyard co papa, um, and on our mother kai out on our papa kainga. So this is really just a quick update. Um, so we've got piru piru here. Uh, a little bit of near back on the Fenua, kumara carrots, but uh, kumara potatoes and piru piru. We got a couple of mana there. The tupu that I'm growing for the kumara that's inside the shed, that'll go out onto the um, papakainga. Uh, got some beans that I'm going to run along this fence and then up these posts here. Uh, planted some carrots uh, last week, and those you're starting to see them come through. These little lines there. Uh, and in two, maybe two weeks time, um, I'll then also plant in the middle so that uh, we have these kind of um, consecutive planting, use all the gaps up and then hopefully uh, as one row comes through and I'll be thinning them out, then the next row will come through in a couple of weeks time so we'll have a sequence of, of vegetables that come up. Got broccoli at the front here, along there, and some broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage at the back. And in another two weeks' time, I'll plant in that gap there some more of these vegetables because um, we do like our cabbages uh, and broccoli. Uh, you would have seen some of my other videos in regards to uh, Italian dishes like lasagna and um, bolognese and all that. Um, celery is part of that process and so I'm creating a little bit of a celery um, mother just, just there so I've planted some more out. Um, yeah, so while the last of the winter crops dying off, I've planted some, actually I've had some spare potatoes in the gaps there, so I've actually filled up some gaps in there, so hopefully they'll come through as we start taking those out. Silver beet, I'm going to get some more silver beet, probably planting somewhere else. Um, also have some, what do you call that, spinach. I've only got one there, I'm going to get some more and I'll do a little bit of a spinach bit there. Uh, and then on the edges, uh, once um, I figure out how to deal with these uh, these snails without going to commercial um, go papa. I'm going to put some things that grow real fast, like um, for example lettuce and the seeds, the, the bok choy and um, the cabbage that I've got on there, plus this type of range of cabbages. Um, plant on the edges where we can actually get to them real easily while the longer things take to grow on in the middle um, yeah uh, that's pretty much what's happening in our mother uh, just tidied it up put a bit of um, straw hay around the sides just to keep trying to keep the grass like the weeds at bay a little bit um, and yeah so I'm thinking about I'm, I actually, you know, the vegetables I'm growing in there, I think I might put a row in here, just grow, grow some more, and fill up the back there or something, that's really good at it. But I'm also going to do another raised bed, and I'll probably put lettuce in this one, just lettuce, like I've done over the other side, because um, it's done so well over there, it's closest to the house, we kind of want to get to it, so that's what I'm going to do there. Yeah. Okay, anyway.
have a nice weekend. Um, that's a bit of an update by our backyard garden. See, I just got a little backyard and um, turning the place into something that can provide kai for the whanau and the neighbours, people at church. Uh, we did a garden dig this week, if you would have seen it early in the week. And um, yeah, uh, just going to help them out. Some of the seedlings I'll do for them. Uh, I'll have a talk to our tomato me and see if we can give some to them as well. Koyano, Matiatu Koto Manaki Taki, Kaki Tiano.